welcome back to my fall series and if you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley and in this channel I make lifestyle beauty and cleaning videos. For today's video I have for you guys my entryway and tear tray fall decorate with me. I'm really excited to show you how everything turned out, especially my entryway. If you guys have seen um, my home tour for Okinawa Base House, then you know that our entryway is pretty much non-existent. So it's really small and sometimes it can be very challenging to decorate that little small area, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. It feels really cozy and I love it. So whenever I come inside my house, I am greeted with fall goodness in my entryway. Um, or whenever a friend or someone comes, they feel happy and they feel at home and cozy. So that was my main goal and I feel like I did achieve it. I also decorated my tear tray. You guys can see a little bit of it right here. And I show you how I decorated. So this was my first time decorating a tear tray and I gotta tell you it was a little bit challenging and overwhelming because you do have to put a lot of stuff in it to fill it out and you don't want it to look cluttered as well or like if you just threw whatever on the tear tray so it was very challenging for me I've decorated tear trays before, but like really small ones, like nothing like big like the one that I have. And I gotta tell you, I'm really excited. I'm really happy with how it looks. It just makes me really happy whenever I come into my dining table and I see my tear tray. It looks really pretty and full of fall goodness. So I'm really excited to show you guys how it looks and how I decorate it. I really hope you guys get some inspiration off of this video and inspire you to decorate a small area in your home. It does not matter how small, if you have creativity and you have YouTube or Pinterest, then you can achieve any decor in your house. So with that being said, get yourself some coffee, put on a fall comfy outfit and a fall playlist and let's go ahead and get to decorating. Okay guys, so this is actual footage of my outside window. It was raining and I wanted to film this and include this in my video because looking at this makes me feel so happy and so at peace. So I thought I showed you, so enjoy. Alright guys, so we are going to go ahead and get started with our tear tray. I'm using this little pumpkin patch sign I made and then this uh, mason jar I also painted with like a yes uh, mustard yellow um, acrylic paint. And I want to take the time to let you know that if you are decorating a tear tray to take your time because I for sure was overwhelmed at first you will see me changing changing my mind many times so just keep going I even like started at the top and then I went down and then I would go up so I really wasn't making my mind up to what I was really doing so then I took a break and then um, I started decorating the bottom part so basically I was going like zigzag kind of um, and that kind of gave me like a perspective of how to decorate and also don't be afraid to use Pinterest because Pinterest is really really helpful um, I didn't use Pinterest this time because I really wanted to do this by myself and I actually really liked how everything looked but like I said don't get frustrated you can always do it again there's no rush in this 
again it's something that'll make your home feel special and also it's something that should relax you not bother you or frustrate you so just breathe and you can do it
all right guys so here's another part of my house um that i love decorating i love uh, making this little spot uh feel nice and cozy because this is the entrance of our home so it is very small as you guys can see but that didn't stop me um i decorated as much as i could i didn't want it to feel cluttered as well because um like i said it is a very small space um this sign i actually painted myself i know my letters are so wonky but i actually painted that pumpkin and i'm really proud of it um so i just thought i showed you guys because it looks really cute in my entrance i was going to use it um in the outside like front porch but i decided to put it in here and then in a moment you'll see me use another sign that i made myself i also painted that pumpkin and i'm really proud of it um i found actually these pieces of wood on the curb so here's another way for you to decorate your home for any type of season any holiday look for pieces of wood on the curb um, you don't necessarily have to spend money to make your house feel cozy and special stuck around until the end also for anyone that is new and you're not subscribed please consider subscribing I would love to have you be a part of my little YouTube channel I love making DIYs thrift store hauls and a lot of decorating videos as well as cleaning so if you like all of that stuff then please consider subscribing also please share this video with your friends and family that way my videos will be easier for others to find other than that I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one Bye.